<laughs> I asked Nate for to be saved. <laughs> what did I say? He said you can only save yourself. <laughs> One rep at a One time. One rep at a time. Hey, what's going on everybody? I am here joined by Shauna and, and Megan. We're gonna be hitting a minimalist workout and we're gonna show you how to get a great workout without much at hand. Stay tuned. Dumbbell for a chainsaw row and then dumbbell for a uh, farmer carry. So, or sorry, uh, an overhead carry. So same dumbbell, probably. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a 50 just to keep things moving. Yeah? Just checking the notes. Yeah, it's time to work on our sustainable conditioning. So kind of the first half of the workout was hot start strength. The second half of the workout is conditioning. And for conditioning, we're gonna have a mixture of sort of body weight movements, a couple dumbbell movements, and then some core movements. And we're just gonna do eight, eight minute circuits where we just move continuously. And then we'll take a short break and then do another eight minute circuit, move continuously. Jump lunge is one of the movements and that's switching feet on a jumping lunge. A scale down from that would be a switch lunge where you stop in the middle, plant both feet. So you'd go lunge, stop, lunge, stop. That gives you a little bit less intensity and time under tension. And then if jumping lunges or switch lunges don't work for you, just go right to alternating reverse lunges. Those would be the simplest form of a lunge. Sixteen squat jumps. <laughs> Sixteen squat jumps. Sixteen. Uh... <laughs> That's modified. <laughs> well, we could scale it. So sixteen squat jumps or air squats. Sixteen tall plank knee to elbow. So right left equals one. And then cross body carry. Okay. Down and back. Switch arms. Down and back. This is, uh, this is the true love post-workout stretch. Just armpit to armpit. It's an armpit kiss. I want to give a shout out to Shauna and Megan for always being game to play whatever games I have in, in mind for the day. They are troopers. I'm a very, let's say, when I show up to workouts with other people, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm hesitant, and not trustful. <laughs> they show up in there. Uh, they might be all those things, but they never say it. And they're always game to get going. And I often will overlook 
key details which they navigate without complaint. So thank you, thank you. And now we're doing a cool down which is basically the beginning of your recovery. After you train, there's a few things you can do to really op optimize your recovery. The first is just getting the heart rate and the nervous system to calm down. You do not want to go right into your day with a very sympathetic, active nervous system, right? Fight or flight. You just did a, you were just in a fight with your workout and now let's get back into rest, digest. So a great way to do that is maybe some static stretches where you're not going like to the deepest position possible. Just a position like this where you can do some calming breaths in through your nose, hold, so nasal breathe, do some hold, like some breath holds, slow exhales. And that's the first part of the recovery. The second part is, yeah, range of motion work, starting to do some, some stretches. So these stretches curated by coach Adam Fetter uh, on the FBB team to really highlight what we've done in that particular session. Today was a big upper body day, so we opened up the triceps, the lats with that single arm wall stretch. Now we're doing shoulder extension. Next up, we're gonna do some uh, T-spine or spinal segmentation or cat-cow. Um, you do that a couple times and really just give some love to those key areas while also bringing your heart rate and your uh, nervous system kind of back to baseline. And then after that, you wanna hydrate and then fuel your body with some good food. So those would be the things that we'll do after this. But we just wrapped up that conditioning, which was 18 minutes start to finish with two minute rest in the middle. And uh, it was spicier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'd love to hear their thoughts on this, but you know, a couple very simple movements with body weight, set a clock, go, get a great stimulus on the shoulders, get a great stimulus on the legs. I thought the core work at the end with the tall plank knee to elbow is great. So those are just my impressions at this point. Gosh, I mean, anyone that just wants to really stay consistent through the holidays and they can't get to their you know, regular gym or even have access to their own home gym and they wanna keep working out, I think that this is a great way to stay consistent through the holidays. Thank you so much for joining us for this minimalist workout. Thanks to these two amazing athletes. I'm honestly very, very privileged to have people to work out with me of this caliber. It pushes me, I hope it pushes you, gets you inspired. Head into the holidays with these minimalist tips and hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you.